All right, welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell Podcast. Casey Campbell here with you, of course, and we are pleased to be joined by Jeb Burton, the driver of the number 10 Nutrient AG Solutions Chevrolet, or and in case of last week, Cheddar's Kitchen uh, Chevrolet for colleague racing in the NASCAR Xfinity Series. How's it going, my man? Going good. Appreciate you having me on. So, um, of course, you, uh, you're, you're, you're on quite a bit of a roll right now, of course, um, in the last four races, you've scored at least a top top five finish, and uh, you've been clicking some good runs together. What's it been like to uh, you know, no run run as well? Of course, um, in these first three races, we call it. Yeah, we we've done pretty good. Um, the first half of these races haven't went exactly how we want them to go. Uh, I think we did a little bit better job this week, um, getting stage points and doing that. Still got a lot of work to do. Um, but yeah, we've had good results. We put ourselves in position to, to win races, and that's all you can ask for. Um, definitely want to run better though and, and lead laps and win stages. Um, that's what it's going to take to win the championship. So three top fives to start the year. Um, couldn't ask for much more, but we're definitely hungry and, and want to do better. So we're working hard on it. So of course, you know, this is this is one of the best opportunities you've received in your career so far. Um, what was it like to know that you were going full-time this year? It was definitely, um, a once in a lifetime opportunity. Uh, so I was really thankful for Nutrient Ag Solutions to, to help me and, and Chris Rice for believing in me to, to get the job done. Um, and all my other partners that came along with me. So it's been a ride, man. And just trying to take advantage of it every time we get behind the wheel and, and, uh, you know, I'm hoping hoping we can line, win a lot of races this year. What's Chris Rice like? He's wide open, that's for certain. <laughs> yeah. he's, wide open. Um, he's a good guy, and, and he means well, and he's built a heck of a race team. So just uh, appreciate everything he's doing. So when you look at, you know, you look at, um, you look at Nutrient AG Solutions, of course, you know, the sponsor of the 10. Of course, you brought Cheddar's Kitchen in. Um, with a, I gotta believe that's the first time a, a not a non green and black colleague car was on the racetrack. Little, they're going more colors and stuff. Um, what was it like to have Cheddar's Kitchen on the car? Yeah, it was it was uh, really cool to to get Cheddar Scratch Kitchen uh, on the race car. Uh, worked on that partnership for fourteen months, uh, so it's a long time coming. Um, but it was really neat to to get our first top four finish with them, and they're going to run another race this year. We're going to announce on a later later date, but um, really excited about that partnership, and uh, just means a lot. They believe in me. Of course, your of course your dad. Of course, your else your dad is Ward Burton. What what's he what what has he been like? You know, in uh, instrumental in your your racing career. What is um, what's the biggest thing that he's done for you? I would say just uh, you know helping me with partnerships and. Um, just doing all I can to to be there and, and help me and um, you know but you know he's kind of backed away a little bit now you know he he gives me feedback on things that he sees that I can do better and things that I couldn't do better and what I am doing right so that's really where where his role is now. Um, you know you're you're also racing your cousin on the racetrack of course Harrison Burton and uh, drives in drives the twenty car. Um, what has that what what's that like you know when you when you two get like do you ever worry that if you two get in an incident it's going to be it's going to be have you guys talked about if that happens how it might play out no uh, not really i mean we race each other hard but clean um we haven't really had any issues to be honest um so i'm sure one day we might have one but so far it's been clean and good and uh yeah, I don't think we want to wreck each other, but you know, things happen sometimes. Um, of course, um, of course, your wife is a nurse. Um, of course, you know, while you're busy driving race cars, um, uh, you know, of course, she's been, you know, helping out a lot of patients, you know, throughout the throughout the pandemic. What's what's it like to you know watch her go do her job, and she she's kind of like a superhero in a way. Yeah. Um... She uh she works really hard. She's actually going to school right now, too. So she works a couple of days a week, and she helps me with 
um, crossroads stuff. And also, uh, she does a ton for the dad's foundation and also is an ICU nurse. So she's got a lot going on. I'm really proud of everything she's doing. And, um, yeah, I mean, she, she definitely worked a lot through this pandemic, just like all the other nurses out there. Of course. Um, also, thanks to all the doctors and nurses for helping out with that. Um, you're going to Las Vegas this weekend. So, of course, you know, we, you know, we're kind of in this stretch where we're kind of seeing a lot of teams, you know, really know what they have at these mile and a half tracks. And, of course, you had a good run at Homestead. What's it going to take to, you know, run well at Vegas? I need speed. Um, on the restarts this past week, I felt like I had it. Um, I didn't, I didn't maybe do the best job at the beginning of the race and then the car felt free, but I think just finding that balance for me, uh, is, is the main thing, getting in the groove and having confidence in my car and, and my ability and, and going to get it done and, and making our cars better every week. Yeah. And, um, you know, of course, and the, finally talk about your dad's foundation. Yeah, so Dad's Foundation uh, is a nonprofit, obviously, and they do a lot of veteran outreach programs and also youth outreach programs, teaching kids about wildlife education. Um, and also the foundation has a partnership with the National Guard, uh, protecting military bases and wildfire training, putting easements and deed restrictions and buying land um, so it can't be developed uh, for, you know, big corporations and, and all kinds of things, putting conservation easements on the property. So it, uh, it's been a lot of fun and, and it keeps dad wide open and it's really a great cause. Yeah, Burton, we thank you so much for taking some time to talk with us and good luck this weekend at Las Vegas. Yes, sir. Thank you. Anytime.